now at six, two Massachusetts residents are now facing charges for being involved in the riots at the U.S. Capitol. And tonight, the FBI says more arrests are coming. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. So far, investigators have charged 80 people in 29 states in Washington, D.C. WBZ's Louisa Muller is outside Boston Federal Court with a look at why the Malden man and Natick woman were added to the list today. 59-year-old Suzanne Ayani from Natick left federal court Tuesday as 46-year-old Mark Sahadi from Malden continued his appearance before a U.S. magistrate judge. Sahadi seen here speaking with officers as he was processed at the Malden police station this morning. Both charged with unlawfully entering the U.S. Capitol grounds and disorderly conduct for their part in the mob that sent lawmakers into hiding and Capitol Hill into lockdown on January 6th. Investigators easily placed Ayani and Sahadi at the scene of the crime because of these pictures included in court documents showing both inside and outside the Capitol building. Court documents state the two are members of a group called Super Happy Fun America, which organized several buses to D.C. to oppose the election of former Vice President Joe Biden and, quote, send a message that tyranny will be resisted. Super Happy Fun America has been linked to other events like this protest, attended by Sue Ayani in October. We are absolutely calling out the Democrat Party. They also organized the Straight Pride Parade in Boston in 2019. But group president John Hugo says on January 6th, neither Ayani nor Sahadi engaged in any violence. And they did what they thought was the right thing to do. And like I said, they're both absolutely fiercely patriotic Americans. They love their country, and uh, I support them 100%. Attorneys for Sahadi say he never entered restricted areas of the Capitol building, and when asked to leave by Capitol Police, he did. Despite that, he will be detained until a hearing on Thursday. Outside federal court, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.